Good morning. Welcome to ANZ News. It's Friday the 14th of May. Today we're talking gold and silver, charts of truth. Today we look at a number of charts painting a clearer and clearer picture of a very bullish construct for gold and silver prices moving forward. Firstly, and following on directly from yesterday's news about inflation and real rates, the chart we show you next plots the tight correlation between the copper price and the inflation with the two-year lag. They call copper Dr. Copper as it tends to have a better track record of predicting human or predicting inflation than its human PhD in economics counterparts. Here's this chart here telling us not only that inflation is coming, but it is not transitory as the Fed would like us to believe. Here's that Dr. Copper and inflation chart here. And again, as a reminder of the also very tight correlation between gold and real rates, the chart below or next shows you this for the 30 year bonds rather than the shorter term 10 year that we shared yesterday. As a rule, the longer term real yields have a closer correlation to the gold price than shorter and also look more insightfully past the transitory narrative. Gold and real rates here. Taking the chart we just shown you and zooming out a little even further to bring in the previous peak of 2011-12, we then very clearly see a classic so-called cup and handle technical chart set up. Here's that cup and handle bullish pattern here right back from 2011 to 21. For confidence in this setup being in, we'd need to see the gold price push sustainably through US 1830. It bri briefly did so earlier this week, almost reaching US 1840 and currently sits at 1827 at the time of writing this article. We almost appear to be there. Macro Insider's Julian Brigden, Rail Pal's partner in that Real Vision adv advisory, has job upgraded his gold call to buy at this level. In March, just before it bottomed, he said to go in with half the position and is now saying to fill it up. His short-term target is US $2,200 before reassessment. But his macro framework on gold is very much bullish in the longer term too. And the chart here showing those targets. For silver, the falling GSR and commodity reflation trade makes it look even more alluring right now. Julian has seen a, been a proponent of silver as his preferred trade for some time, picking its outperformance of gold these last six months perfectly. As you can see in this next chart, he's saying it's now a buy again with a short-term target of $40, a 48% return. Crescat's Otavio Costa recently shared a tweet on silver that ties in beautifully with yesterday's article in regard to money supply, fiat money, and silver as real money. Is that tweet here. Silver is the single most important asset that I'm focused on. If I had to boil down my entire macro thesis into one position, it would undoubtedly be that. Once silver breaks above $30, I believe we will see an explosive move to new highs. We will write more fully on the gold to silver ratio action next week, but just to consider that right now, silver is still nearly 50% below its all-time high in 2011. Gold is just over 10% below its all-time high in August last year. Silver historically lags, then shoots past gold in precious metals bull markets. We still look at to be in those early days for both, but silver looks considerably compelling in comparison. Well, that's news for this week. We hope you've enjoyed our commentary. Remember, ansleybullion.com.au for all things physical, ansleywealth.com.au thing for all things cryptocurrency, and goldsilverstandard.com for our own cryptocurrency built by Ansley and backed by real gold and silver. We'll catch you on Monday for more news.